So we're tracking some breaking news this morning after another bombing in Sri Lanka just days after an attack there killed nearly 300 people. This is new video from the scene a van parked near St. Anthony's Shrine exploding just hours ago sending pedestrians fleeing in panic right now. No injuries have been reported. This comes after at least 290 people were killed during a series of bombings in Sri Lanka on Easter Sunday. Right now we know at least two Americans are among those killed. The State Department is now calling the attacks an act of terror. Nine bombings of churches, luxury hotels and other sites is Sri Lanka's deadliest violence since a devastating civil war ended a decade ago. Officials say 24 suspects are now in custody for questioning. Also breaking this morning, police are searching for a suspect after a shooting in Chandler. It happened just after midnight at the Palm Trails apartment complex. Police say a man was shot there. He was taken to the hospital and is expected to be OK. We're told the man does not live at the apartment complex. Anyone with information is asked to call Chandler Police. New this morning, the 17 is back open after a deadly wrong way crash. This happened just around midnight north of Sunset Point. ADOT reports a vehicle was headed the wrong way in the northbound lanes, which caused a four car wreck, killing one of the drivers involved. The wrong way vehicle then fled the scene. It's only been described as a black Mustang. A police officer was recovering this morning after he was dragged while approaching a suspect in Mesa. Investigators say that suspect, 20-year-old Jonas Gaspard Post, is accused of doing drugs in the parking lot of the Park and Ride at Baseline Road and Country Club Drive. Police say Post rammed into the officer's patrol car twice, then dragged the officer when he tried to stop Post. Police eventually caught up with him on a roof near North Home in McKellips Road. Right now, fire crews are working to battle flames from a wildfire near Whitman. That's southwest of Wickenburg. The Department of Forestry and Fire Management tells us three to 400 acres have already been burned and the flames are moving quickly through the brush. The fire is already threatening several structures. Crews did stop the fire's forward progress, but they've had to bring in several engines and even aerial tankers to help put out the flames. A nine year old boy is recovering this morning after a deadly ATV crash. The boy's 10 year old friend was killed when the ATV they were riding on crashed into a parked car near 16th Avenue and Broadway Road Saturday. A makeshift memorial has been set up at the scene. Police are investigating what led up to the deadly crash.